Hey everyone, the numbers are in for April 2023 for the Panama City Beach housing market. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. And I'll start off by telling you, we are in a very, very healthy spring market. I'm gonna to get to the numbers in just a second. I'm gonna do this video a little different than the ones I've done in the past. We're gonna dive specifically into four neighborhoods, uh, Breakfast Point, Whisper Dunes, Palmetto Trace, and the Hathaway townhomes. I wanna give you a sampling of what's going on specifically in those areas after going through the overall numbers. Now, if you wanna get a report like this for your neighborhood specifically, um, let me know. I can crank out one of those videos for you very, very easily. If you really wanna keep up with what's going on in your neighborhood long-term, one of the best tools I know that I've ever seen in 20 years of selling real estate is this thing called an e-alert system. Very, very simply, anytime a house comes up for sale or goes under contract, has a pending sale um, or has a closing, it sells, you'll be sent an email with that specific information. Um, it's very, very accurate. It comes straight out of our real estate, the realtor system. Um, we can set it up to send you an alert anytime something happens or batch it so you get it like once a week or once a month. It's a very, very easy, accurate way to stay up to date with the pricing in your neighborhood, not just what your neighbor says they sold a house for, but the actual real information. So. Let me get right into it. We're gonna start with the overall numbers for the overall detached single family market. Then we'll go into the um, attached single family market. And we'll go into those individual neighborhoods. Now, if you wanna watch the whole video, great. If you wanna just skip to your specific chapter, I get it, no problem. Um, so starting with the overall market, remember months of inventory is a number that we really like to keep track of. Since April, May, June of last year, we started to see more and more or, or higher and higher months of inventory number. Remember, for those of you who haven't seen one of these videos in a while, months of inventory is a very, very good barometer of how hot or cold a market is. Very simply, five or six months of inventory has always represented a neutral market in real estate. Theoretically, we would sell out of an entire market in five or six months. So if we have numbers lower than that, four months, three months, so forth, that's a hotter market. We're drifting into seller market territory. That's where we see price appreciation. Just the opposite, if we get into seven, eight, nine months of inventory, that's a slower market. That's where we tend to see price depreciation. So we've been drifting up. We know that the interest rate spiked middle of last year. That, that put the brakes on a lot of the housing market. And you can see from March of last year, all the way through January of this year, we moved from a, a, a pretty hot one month or so of inventory all the way up to seven. We kind of touched on buyer market territory in March of this year, but look at what the last 60, 90 days has been like in this spring market that I talked about. The last um, 90 days have been very, very good. We've, we've gotten as low as three months of inventory back in March. We've come up a little bit. We're now hovering around almost four uh, for April numbers. Very generally, um, that's a little on the seller side, um, seller's market territory of a neutral market. So neutral, maybe a little bit healthier than that. A uh, couple other statistics for the overall market. Uh, the number of units actually for sale had been going down surprisingly. It really shot up, uh, in February and March. It's actually come back down a little bit in April. Um, sales to list price ratio is an important one that we like to follow. This basically means What's the asking price and what, how many percentage points off of that did it finally sell for? That's been drifting down since the market's cooled off a little bit. We're hovering in uh, around 96.7%. So you would figure sellers are a little bit more negotiable than they were this time last year. Uh, days on market has been steadily drifting up as the market slows down. It's taking a little bit longer to sell a house. Uh, we were at a very, very, very hot or fast <laughs> you know, 29, 28, 27, 25 days early 2022. We've been drifting up, drifting up. We still are moving up. It's taking about 90 days on average to sell a house in Panama City Beach. 100 to 110 usually matches up with that five or six months of inventory. So again, we're selling a little faster than an average neutral market. Um, so still a very, very, very healthy market. If we look at the uh well let me let me rephrase that a very good solid steady spring market um certainly not as nuclear hot as when we were back uh what we saw in mid late or all of 2021 early 2022. in the attached single family market since we're going to talk about palmetto trace which has some townhomes and also hathaway townhomes 
similar story. Um, well, no, a little different, actually. <laughs> So we didn't have very much inventory in the attached market and it really exploded September of last year. It's actually starting to come down again. Months of inventory there is even a more healthy 2.69. So if you're trying to sell an attached unit, a townhome in Panama City Beach right now, the market is very, very much in your favor. Um, listing amounts have come up slightly. Sales to list price ratio um, is a little softer than the detached market. It's at 95.6%. Days on market um, had moved up around November, December, but is back down to a very good 30 days. So not taking very long at all, generally speaking, to sell something um, in the attached market. So uh, let's start in Breakfast Point. Now look specifically at each one of these communities to see how it relates to the overall market. Breakfast Point, months of inventory, um, outpacing the overall market a little bit. Um, it's hovered really around two months of inventory other than a spike in February. Um, it's been at a steady two months of inventory uh, for a good six, seven months now. Uh, the number of listings, the number of units for sale, that is, has come down. The asking price to sale price ratio is about the same as the overall market, 97.7%. Um, I wrote two contracts uh, in Breakfast Point in the last seven or eight days. Uh, I would probably agree that that's about, or at least our experience was um, about that amount of negotiation to get something done. Uh, days on the market in Breakfast Point, um, 104 days, a little higher uh, than the average in the market. Probably a little misleading because there is some new construction in Breakfast Point and builders will put homes up for sale at different times throughout um, the process. So they may they may have a home under construction, put it up for sale and it not close for an extended period of time. That number is going to be a little bit skewed. Uh, the two that we just put under contract, one was on the market for maybe 20 days or so. One was a little longer. One was about uh, two, two and a half months. Uh, but good solid activity on both of those the entire time. We're actually getting ready to put another one up for sale um, today, as a matter of fact. Um, looking at just the sales in Breakfast Point um, just for the month of April. Uh, let's start, look at this a couple different ways. New construction, new construction, new construction, new construction, new construction. Five of the seven sales were new construction. Not terribly surprising since there's more supply in that market. Uh, the least expensive sale was in the newer section um, in Breakfast Point, not Breakfast Point East, for $449. Um, Breakfast Point Eats, one of the Truland home sales at $469.9. Back over on Foxtail, another 3.2 closed at $496 and some change. Breakfast Point East, uh, this is a Sam Taylor, I think, closed. Uh, I need to check. That could be a Truland there. $497. Resale on Johnson Bayou for $510. That was a $42. Uh, new construction over in Breakfast Point East closed a $43 at 524 And over on Johnson Bayou, 3,000 plus square feet closed for 635,000. Now remember, uh, you breakfast pointers, I live in breakfast point. Um, I, I really encourage you to check out that e-alert system if you're just trying to keep up with the real data, even if you're not selling for, you know, if you plan to live in your house for years, it's just a nice way to keep track of your equity. It's a very, very uh, consistent way to do that, very easy way to do that. So let me know if you wanna get signed up for those e-alerts. Um, going over to Whisper Dunes, um, we're filming a video and some photos there today. We're going to release a new home for sale, uh, probably Thursday or Friday months of inventory. There's when you have fewer homes to analyze, obviously we're not, the data is going to be a little more inconsistent, but, um, some of the recent numbers in Whisper Dunes has been a very healthy market there also three months of inventory, four months of inventory spiked in February to nine, very much like breakfast point. Uh, back down to about three months of inventory right now. So not taking a long time to sell in there. Uh, the number of listings is hovering around three at the moment. It's going to be four pretty soon. The sales to list price ratio has actually been very, very strong in Whisper Dunes. I guess it is down to 97.8% for April. Uh, so been hovering between 97 and 100%. So still a lot of demand in that market. Uh, days on market is very healthy in there. 10 days in December, 24 days in February, 40, only 42 days as of April. Uh, so not taking a long time uh, to get homes under contract in Whisper Dunes. Um, looking at the sales in the month of April, 
Um, there is a townhome attached section and attached single family section in Whisper Dunes. Uh, one of the townhomes sold for 335,000. That's a three, two, um, two homes, Similar square footage, both three twos. One sold for five twenty five. One sold for five sixty four. This one was a corner lot for five twenty five. Um, on its face, it looks like a really, really good price for the buyer. I wonder if the seller could have maybe been a little more patient there, um, just knowing that the market is that strong. Um, now going over to Palmetto Trace. Months of inventory number there. This is we'll start with just the detached single family. Then we'll look at the attached single family. Two very different products. Two very different markets. Uh, months of inventory um, in, in a detached single family home spiked at five months in uh, January, but for the most part, it's still hovered in a very, very strong, steady market there. 2.5 months of inventory right now. Uh, we have a home listed for sale in there that's been on the market maybe uh, not quite two weeks and has already has an offer on it. It didn't, that transaction didn't work out, but it's showing pretty consistently. Um, so I would I would kind of tend to agree I, I, things are on the right track for that one to probably go pending sooner rather than later. Um, not too too much competition in Palmetto Trace. So if you are thinking about selling in the spring, it's a very good time. Asking price to sale price ratio there looks like there was a little more negotiation on one house here, bringing the number down to ninety five point five percent. But for the most part, it was hovering between ninety eight and one hundred. So until recently, not a lot of negotiation. Days on market, uh, trending up. If you look at this, nine days here, but 53 and 42 days. Again, 53 and 42 days is outpacing our overall market. Remember, it was 90-ish days for the entire beach. So still um, a lot of demand, good, solid, steady market in the detached single-family homes there. Uh, regard As far as sales go, two sales in the month of April. One was a 4-2 that closed at 480000 one was a 3-2 that closed for 460000 There are a lot of different things to take into account in Palmetto Trace. There are multiple builders in there. Uh, so some very different floor plans, very different types of construction uh, that really affect values in there. Um, over in the attached single family section of Palmetto Trace, months of inventory still very good there. Um, it's been very good for a long time. Uh, half a month of inventory, 1.5. I mean, this is as hot of a seller's market as you get still. Um, probably ev evidenced in the sale to list price. Yeah, I mean, over 100% in some cases. So if you're selling, yeah, 100%, 99%, 96.9%, so about the average. But if you're selling a townhome in Palmetto Trace, you can be really ambitious on your pricing still. Days on market um, has spiked. It's taking 51, 54 days now. Uh, on average to work through the market. It had been a little lower than that. Again, you know, all these neighborhoods where you're at 40, 50, 60 days of inventory, that's a very, very steady, steady market, spring market. Um, there were no sales in the attached single family uh, units in the month of April. Since we're talking attached single family, I wanted to include a uh, neighborhood like the Hathaway townhomes. This is another one we've been focusing on a lot recently. Months of inventory there is also very good. White hot, as a matter of fact, 0.2, 1, 1, 0.3. Asking price to sale price ratio has been very good there. Looks like a little negotiation on this one, but 99.5%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Days on market, spiked a little bit to 107 days in November, but down at 42 days and four days. So very, very healthy, steady market. We're seeing a lot of signs of... Um, very, very healthy markets. Uh, the Hathaway townhomes, a few sales in there, a couple different floor plans. Uh, sales prices between 345 and 359 last month. Um, quick version, a quick overview for you. I know I went through that pretty fast, but it gives you some idea of what's happening in the overall markets. So one thing I'll show you what this um, e alert system looks like. This is set for an aqua condo complex. It's very, I like it because it's really easy to look at and digest um, very clear. Hey, this is new to the market. This was sold. This is a sale pending. You can actually click on each one of these and it'll take you to the details of the property. You can see the, all of the photos, read all the descriptions. If you're on your cell phone, 
want to take a look at this right here. It's really, really clean looking um, system. It's the best system I've seen in all my years of selling real estate. It just gives you a very, very clear, simple look at what's going on in the market. So again, we can set that up for you any way you want to search. If you want it just for Bay Point, we have a couple homes for sale in Bay Point right now. Just closed one last Friday. Um, if you wanted to just watch what was happening in Bay Point, we could set that up for you and you could get the information as it happens once a week, once per month, however you want it. Um, if you were looking at um, a neighborhood, but only wanted to follow the three bedrooms, we could set it up that way. If you wanted to follow only all of Panama City Beach, but only homes with a pool, we could do it that way. If you wanted to do it um, by age or by square footage, any way you can think about searching for real estate, we can customize this thing for you, send it to you. And it's a very easy way, again, to keep up with very, very accurate information. We, we use this for both buyers and sellers. If a buyer's searching for a particular um, area or size or with a pool, whatever, we'll set it up for buyers that way. They're notified instantaneously when something hits the MLS system. Uh, but on the seller side, I think it's just a very, very nice way, again, to keep up with accurate information uh, in a world where there's a lot of misinformation going on. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I know it's a lot, 16 minutes and 23 seconds of market update. The short version is we're very much in a healthy spring market for real estate. We're not as white hot, as intense as we were in 2021 and early 2022. But as you can see, especially looking at these specific neighborhoods, um, homes are selling very very steady um i probably would end with the things that i see mattering the most um real estate fundamentals are really coming back to the forefront so pricing has to be right marketing has to be great um professional photos i think are a must professional video now i think has to be a must um internet marketing it can't just be on the mls anymore you have to be boosting videos on youtube you have to be running internet ads you have to be really casting a wide net to make sure these properties are being seen. But if you're doing that, um, a lot of things are happening. I've had a closing, uh, like I said, it was a closing in Bay Point on the water last week. Um, two homes in Palmetto or in um, Breakfast Point are under contract. Uh, one in Colony Club is under contract. Um, just going through the list of what we've closed recently. And it's been very, very steady activity when things are presented right when owners work hard to put things and get things ready and staged correctly. So at any rate, again, I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Um, thanks for watching. We'll be back next month uh, with another housing market update.